Welcome! In this short video, we will explore the Writing A to Z student management and reports sections, where you can assign student activities and use reports to inform instruction. We hope that by the end of this guided tour, you will walk away with new tools to support your work. As we explore, you may want to use the editable note catcher available here. At any point during this video tour, if you need time to reflect, practice, or take notes, press pause. Then, press play when you would like to resume. We are so happy you're here. Let's get started. You have quick access to the roster and assignments through the home screen dashboard. You can also navigate to both areas through the menu. Here at the bottom is a link to the roster through My Students. To review student assignments, navigate to Reports and click Assignment. From here, you can choose to review student work from any completed writing or grammar activities. Filters make it easy to narrow the results by student, assignment status, date, and type of assignment. For example, if you want to review any part of a student's writing process and give feedback, you can set filters to display only the information you want to see. I'm going to leave the first two options set as they are and change the date filter to all and the assignment type filter to lesson plan. You are not expected to review every lesson. Rather, review should be intentional. Some students are solid with planning, but not with revision so you may opt to provide feedback only for specific reasons. Click the assignment title to review students' progress. I can see that Beth has completed her assignment, so I will click her name to expand the view. To see how a student performed on the game, click Scored. You can scroll through to review the student's responses, which is a great way to check their understanding of the skills and strategies that you taught in the lesson. Teachers in 2nd through 5th grades who have assigned Walt can read and provide feedback on students' writing by selecting Review. This is where you can type or record your feedback. Since we are in Lesson 5, the last lesson in the module, you can score the writing piece using the digital rubric. You will notice as I make a selection in each area, the score is automatically calculated. I am going to close this lesson and go back to Assignments. These assignments help you identify students' strengths and areas of need for grammar and writing process skills. Writing A to Z was designed to provide student management and report space with tools to drill down into your students' data, giving you the information needed to support and inform your instructional decisions. This concludes our guided tour, but there is so much more to explore. Want to learn more about Writing A to Z? Check out other Writing A to Z videos found in the Related Offerings section here. Learn more about our professional learning services or book your next training here. We hope that this short video has helped you learn about new tools to support your work. Teachers, thank you for everything you do.